Number one, Texas looking to rebound, coming off their first loss of the season on Wednesday night. Looking like the usual Texas we've seen most of the year tonight against West Virginia, dominating from the start. Logan Eggleston, eight kills, hit 571, and delivered five blocks. She did it from every phase of the game tonight as a blocker, as an attacker, defensively as well. Just exactly what you want to see out of her response for Texas. Her fellow senior, Asia O'Neill, came in with the second best hitting percentage in the nation and delivered as well. She hit 417 with five blocks of her own. Asia O'Neill was fired up. You could tell it from her performance and also how she's impacting her team. She's been a difference maker in this response after their first loss of the season. Those two have been steady all year long. Texas took the first two sets of this one, 25-17, 25-16. And how about Kayla Caffey finally getting healthy? The transfer from Nebraska, seven blocks tonight, 14 over her last two matches. With as good as Texas is, it's kind of scary that they're going to continue to get better. And Caffey has done exactly that. She's getting healthier. She's got some runway to go, and this team is going to be better for it. Started another match for the Longhorns after coming off the bench earlier in the year. And Texas now over the last two matches, they've set a season high in blocks in each of those after coming up with 13 on Wednesday night. That was a five setter. They had 14 in just three sets tonight, Courtney. It's been unbelievable to watch tonight. And it's one thing when your offense is rolling, but when you can pair that with a defense that is equally intimidating and not only just scoring, but how they're scoring in these soul crushing blocks, it's a game changer. Texas moves to 15 and one on the year after sweeping the Mountaineers in Austin.